What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Here I have assembled the uh, Tilson 225. Um, yes, I have a zip tie here. I just need to put some uh, safety wire. But I'm just gonna tell you about my experience, what I found, uh, maybe little tidbits. Uh, I was gonna do the, the whole assembly in front of you, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, everything that you need comes here. I'm gonna let you know some, some likes and dislikes about it. And uh, let's get started. All right. One of the first things, one one of the first things I like about it is it comes with the studs, right? It already comes with the studs with the exhaust, and that's one of the big issues that uh, that I have with my Briggs is these uh, bolts come loose because they're not they're threaded in. Um, so I like they do that. The only thing I don't like is on this side they do the opposite. This is threaded into this uh, the manifold piece, which I don't like. But then here they stud it. So I like that they study here. I don't like that this is threaded in. Um, to get this in, it's a really tight fit. Yeah, I lift it up on the choke to get this Allen bolt in. Uh, and then you have to finagle it around to get it in. Uh, the exhaust is pretty easy, except this thing came with a plastic piece around it. So I took the plastic piece off. I don't know how it has to go back on. I, I don't know why it would have to go back on, uh, to be honest, why that plastic piece would have to go on, go on at all. So I put the plastic, took the plastic piece off. This comes automatically here. Comes with the exhaust wrap. Uh, I use bolts from the 206, same thread pattern, because uh, I was worried that the bolts that came with was gonna have clutch uh, clearance issue. And then the fuel pump, do yourself a favor Take the fuel pump off. It's two 10 millimeter bolts uh, to get this fuel line in because it's a pain in the butt. Uh, I still don't know what this wire is loose here for. Um, I have no clue. I'm not sure if I should tie it out of the way or something, a ghost connector or something. Somebody knows, please let me know. Uh, pretty straightforward. And also the car barely has like any room for this clamp to hold on the air filter. Uh, I looked inside, it's the same slide system as the 206. Um, so that should be pretty easy when I go put on the cart. Uh, other than that, everything straightforward. Spark plug, put that bad boy in. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's straightforward. The build was straightforward. Um, no major issues, just some things I didn't like, some things that were different. Uh, these are 10 millimeter bolts. This is a five millimeter. Uh, this is 13 millimeter uh, Then these are 8 millimeter So that's basically about it the whole shebang setup uh, Next is again the uh, motor on the cart uh, Seeing how much of a difference I have to move the engine around to get the motor on And uh, basically we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just it was a quick little build uh, Takes as long as about putting a 206 together nothing different um, oh, the clamp bolt for the uh, RLV exhaust is 8 millimeter as well. Um, simple tools. You know, use yourself a ratchet, screwdriver. This is all I needed to put the motor together. So, next step is um, getting this thing on the cart and getting it ready for Orlando. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> It's pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you guys know what that piece of wire is that just opened there, let me know. Um, if I have to add something back on, let me know. I greatly appreciate it. All the help I can get. Take it easy, guys. Got you guys on track.